Hello everyone, and welcome back to Night How can Vigil I help? Pokemon. Do you want to talk? About my mother? I'm unsure. I seem to find it difficult to remain objective when it comes to her. I find that disturbing. You don't think we should look for the hologram? We have more important things to do. Still, my father is dead. Just because we find the holocron doesn't mean I have to give it to her. Why do you think she wants it so badly? Father recorded all his personal thoughts in that holocron, even when I knew him. Having it would be like having him with you. I don't see why she deserves it, however. She drove him to his death. I loved him, and I didn't even have a chance to say goodbye. Yes. Maybe. I don't feel good about it still. Please. Let's just keep going. Alright. I'm here.
might take the guy, I might take these two girls away and just, uh, take HK and, uh, T3 with me and just kill the guy. Could you help? I seem to be, uh, doomed. Look who it is. Tannis. Hey there, thanks for stopping. I appreciate it. I've been stuck without water. Could you... Hey, I remember you. You're the young... Well, uh, it would appear that I've worn out my welcome with my wife Marlena. She fig- Commentary. One would hope the female is better at repairs than Yukalaka. I still would like to crush his neck, master. I triggered some sort of trap she programmed. She probably figured I wouldn't be smart enough to get out. There she was right. You know, now really isn't the time for a lecture. Of course, I might be more receptive after I'm rescued. The wife put a kink in my battle droids. They're in some sort of discharge loop. And if I move from this spot, they're threatening to blow up. She knew I wouldn't know how to fix them. Could you try to do some repairs? They don't care if you move. It's just me who's stuck. Commentary. I say we blast the meat bag and save you the trouble, Master. What's with all the droids lately? My wife get to you too? Negative. I just don't like organic meat bags. Except for the Master, of course. Uh. Hey, yeah, you got yourself a mech droid there. Tell it to do it, please. <laughs> hey, now, did your droid just spit at me? I just need a little help here. I'm trying to help out. Hold just on. access. E oh, and, uh. Alright. Anyone out there? Could you help? I seem to be, uh, doomed. On the having fun on the dunes.
sure I want to give it to you. And why not? Would you deny me even that? I've never denied you anything, Mother. You may think I don't remember what it was like before I left for the Order, but I do. You were the one who pushed Father to go on one treasure hunt after the other. You loved living in wealth. You think I don't remember the fights? You were eager to send me to the Jedi even though I didn't want to go. You took Father away from me. And now this holocron is all I have of him. Fool girl. You have a strange way of remembering things. That wasn't... No, I don't wish to argue with you anymore, Mother. It's time we parted ways now, for both our benefit. All right, let's go. So that's the way it is, is it? All that Jedi training, and you haven't learned to think. On the contrary, I've learned much. I've learned, for instance, when it is best to walk away from a situation that can only lead to conflict. How can you learn anything when you hear only what you want to hear? We'll go on then. Keep the holocron. It was for you anyhow. I'll just go off and die peacefully. And you needn't bother with me any farewell, mother. <laughs> what? Hmm? How can I help? Yes, but I don't feel any better. After all my training, I would have thought myself above such anger. For it to come so easily disturbs me greatly. I don't need a holocron to remember my father. And I will never see Mother again. Have I learned nothing? In... No. I don't want to talk about this. Thank you. But I must think. Oh, shit. Now she's gone through a whole phase. Okay, sis, I see you still, man. Fair enough. I don't think you could help me with this anyway. It's uh, more of a job for your friend here. As you may know, Tack 
glands can be refined to a very potent powder. It's the primary ingredient in Teresian ale. That's what makes it so strong. Of course, now that Taurus is pretty much wiped from the face of the map, Teresian ale has become somewhat scarce and uh, very, very valuable. Luckily, I know the secret recipe. I know this guy. He's with the exchange. Now, if I give him a small sample of Torizian ale, he says he can synthesize it and reproduce it in mass quantities. Problem is, I need one of those tack glands to make the first batch. And now that Taurus is a smoke and ruin, the only place to find tack is on Kashik. If you can get your hands on one of those tack glands, I'll make it worth your while. Griff, are you blind? Can't you see you're talking to a Jedi? We're out here trying to save the galaxy. Yeah. You can't waste time on this. Please. You have to help me. I, I, I promised this guy from the exchange a sample of Teresian ale. If I don't come through for him, he's going to break my legs. Or worse. Oh, well. Come on, Mission. I, I'm your brother. I'm family. You can't turn your back on me. Forget it, Griff. I'm not falling for that line again. You'll have to find your own way out of this mess. You bring me a single tack gland, and you not only save my life, but you get a piece of this great business opportunity. I mean, you can't pass this up. Think about it, and you'll see I'm right. We all know how it turns out. Greetings again from the offices of Zerga Corp. You have fulfilled your end of the bargain, and Zerka Corporation is grateful. I will, of course, continue to give you bounties on record. I have none left. Alright, everybody, that seems to be. Yes, uh, huh? I'm here. Do I have any? Mucho. Tong abu. 
I have they they were so in the retrospect those Jedi were going to fight the map but to us it was like I know that they were not that the, the Jedi left the oppressed become the new the non-humans were never treated what of but no one looks out for the but The very fact I but let us know. Hmm. Guess let's go talk to Basta. Yeah, first. Yes, part. what's in your mind? I uh, I'm not very good at this. I I know I owe you an apology. Uh more than one, probably. I was just so desperate to finally face Saul directly in the Battle of Terrace. And now the Jedi have us looking for these, these star maps. I know this mission is important, it's just, I, I feel a bit useless. I, I can fight, sure, but I'm no Jedi. All this feels completely out of my league. It doesn't, I know. It, exactly. It's been a while since I've even had to think about that sort of thing. I just hate not knowing what's going on and feeling this helpless. But I, but I shouldn't have taken that out on you. I've been a royal pain on the backside, haven't I? Don't worry about no, it. No, I do worry about it. I've traveled the lanes more than once. I should know better than this. So, I'm sorry. Will you accept my apology? Done. Let's get underway. Then. How can I help? Yes, what's in Tatooine's well, that's all I you got. Okay. What do you want? Huh. Tatooine, the world. There are some. Vi do you have any? <laughs> Here's a. There any? Your. Yeah. What do you want? What? Yeah. What do you want? So deal with.
already dead in my fucking plan. I'm gonna kill him right away. Told you, you betrayed us all. It seems more personal than that. Uh... Well, there, there is more to it. I'm, I'm sure you don't want to hear about it. I asked, didn't I? It's just that I don't talk about it very much. Okay. I told you about my homeworld, Telos. Four years ago, yeah, Saul led the Sith fleet there and demanded its surrender. The planet refused, and Saul proceeded to devastate its entire surface. Millions died. I had a, a, a wife and a son on Telos. I thought they would be safe there, but my task force arrived too late to be of much help. We, we didn't have enough medical supplies. The colony was, was burning and the dying were everywhere. I remember holding my wife and screaming for the medics, but that th they didn't come in time. That's terrible, I'm sorry. Of course not, how could you? I, I, mean, I had nothing left after that, really. I, I devoted myself to the fleet. Hunting Saul was my only purpose. I, I miss them. And I know killing Saul won't bring them back. And, I, and it won't make me happy again, but I... I have to do it. I don't expect you to understand, but I have to pay him back for what he's done. I have to. It's all I have left. Oh, she likes your wife. She had courage, and she was stubborn. <laughs> A little bit like you in that respect. Never talked her out of anything once she put her mind to it. And she hated it when I signed back onto the fleet at the start of the war. Now, I had planned on... I'm leaving soon to join her. What happened to your son? You His say. name was Dustal, and I don't know what happened to him. The colony was a complete ruin, and we never found any trace of him. I made inquiries and followed the reports from Telos for years, but I stopped. Anyway, that's the story, for what it's worth. Thank you for telling me. I've uh, never talked about it before to anyone. I suppose it's time I finally did. How can I help? Then I. All right, now we're gonna end here. If you liked the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, check out my channel Zoro Forty Two. Write down in the comments if you are liking this little part, this extra half of the series. And after this, we will be most likely doing Knights of Joe Republic Two.